that of you've been through something like this before back in 2019. What do you tell these guys when a coaching change like this happens in mid-season? Uh, it's a it's awakening, you know what I mean? It's a rude awakening that you gotta understand. It's business, you know what I mean? Um, especially the young guys. It's not college. Uh, you gotta understand everything's a business. When you don't execute, you don't live up to what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Things happen, and unfortunately, something happened on Monday. Um, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean? That's on the players. As much, not really much on the coach, you know what I mean? Because we got to go out there and execute. We got to go out there and play the play. We got to go out there and run around. We got to go out there and catch balls, blocks, tackles, and stuff like that. What was Steve's message to you guys? What was Steve's message? Uh, you know, like I said, it was business, business, but his message was we got to win the day. You know what I mean? Come in. He gave us Monday, Tuesday off. Uh, come in Wednesday, practice, get ready for the, the Rams, and go out there and, and win the day. Jack, how much easier is it to transition from coach to coach when you got a guy like Steve coming in who's so familiar with this area and this team? I mean, it's still tough. It's a business. You know what I mean? Uh, they picked the right guy to go be the interim head coach. Um, he's been here before. He's from the city. Um, he's been a head coach before. You know what I mean? He has a lot of respect around this building. He knows what he's talking about. He knows the schemes. He knows situational ball, and um, it's good to see. Shaq, he made the purpose decision to start today. Pads on a Wednesday. Pads on a Wednesday. What did that do for you guys out on the practice? Uh, make it start fast. You know what I mean? We've been having pads on Thursdays. Uh, so it was just like a adjustment period for us. And um, you know what I mean? Some, it's like I said, new head coach. we got to get used to it. And we're on his schedule. You know what I mean? Uh, we're 0-0 we're zero, zero right now, even though our record says 1-4. Uh, we got to go out there and win. You know Steve longer than anybody in this locker, I think. Um, JJ. Okay. Well, <laughs> JJ is not everybody longer. But what defines him as, as a guy that can could possibly turn this thing around? Um, he has that respect. You know what I mean? He's he's been there. A lot of guys respect him. A lot of people in this building respect him. A lot of people in the city respect him. You know what I mean? And um, he has this mantra about him. You know what I mean? It's just. He's always going to be Wilkes, you know what I mean? And uh, I was here when he used to call me 54. So I was like, we got that relationship, you know what I mean? I, I want to see them. I want to see him be successful. You know what I mean? I want to see this team be successful. I want to see this organization be successful. I want the fans to come back. Um, and they deserve everything. And uh, that's what we got to do, and that's what Wilkes is here for. It seems a lot of people, I don't, I, we didn't talk to you Sunday, I didn't. Um, we're behind that as far as a coach. Um, on Sunday, and then now they make a change. Sometimes that could be awkward. If there's a, if there's a, if it leads to another guy, and you bring in another guy. But does there seem to be any issue with that with Steve? Is that just because of who he is? Nah, you know what I mean? It, it's just a business. You know what I mean? You get fired, you got to move on, right? And I'm not talking about rule like that, but as a business, it's, it's part of it. You get fired, you get fired from your job, you got to go find the next job. You know what I mean? You can't soap and you got to wait. And for us, it's like, the season still goes on, you know what I mean? Uh, and we got a season to finish. We got 12 more weeks. You know what I mean? I feel like we could, we could definitely change this thing around. You know what I mean? We have the players. Everybody has to buy in, and uh, they picked the right guy to do it. What about uh, Holcomb? What, I mean, you've, he's been your coach. Now he's the D.C. <laughs> what does he bring to that defensive coordinator role? Uh, uh, man, he's going to bring everything. He's going to bring a lot of juice. He's going to bring a lot of intensity. Um, he's going to be aggressive at times. He's going to play man, uh, zone up, you know what I mean? He's going to let our four down go rush and go have fun. You know what I mean, we're going to bring some energy back to this defense, back to the stadium, and we just got to go out there and win. What was behind that smile at the mention of his name? Al? <laughs> Al's my dog, man. Uh, he always told me he fought for me to get here. So me and Al are always going to have some history and, and love, you know what I mean? So. That's my dog at the end of the day. What say about Steve, though, that he was willing to move on from Phil Snow, who the defense seemed to be the one bright spot on this team. And so he moved on from, from him to, to bring in his own person. Uh, that's above my pay grade. you got to go ask Steve about that one. Uh, I'm just here to win games. We're trying to bring this organization back, trying to bring the fans back in the stadium, and we're trying to give them a, a better football team than what we did in the first half. Check out week to, to change. I kind of guess, I know you said you're going to change philosophies a little bit. How hard is it to not only adjust to that, but pivot off of what's happened the last couple of days and focus back on it? We just got to move on, you know what I mean? Next day, win the day, you know what I mean? It happened. We got to let it go. Wilkes is the head coach now. I was D.C. now. We move on. You know what I mean? We got the Rams to focus on. What's the biggest difference you think will be moving forward for you guys? We just got the Rams to focus on, you know what I mean? We just got to go win. Is this a good week to be on the road facing the Rams to kind of circle the wagons and get everybody bought in with Wilkes and the changes and, you know, kind of a you guys against the world mentality? Yeah, it's definitely a good week. Uh, we're playing against the world champions. Um, they just came off a loss like we did at home and uh, trying to go out there and give them another one and try to bring a win back to Charlotte.
difficult is it playing against the Rams? I mean, where did, for you guys, where did it start? I mean, there's so many weapons they have. Um, it starts with us. I mean, that's what every game starts with, right? We got to do our job. We got to go out there and execute, execute the calls, execute the defense, execute the plays, create turnovers. We got to score. We got to block. We got to run the ball well. Special teams has to show up. So it's always going to start with us.